Okay, this is Pastor Gloria. This is Pastor, looks kind of blurry, blurry. But anyway, um, I'm going to turn the camera around. I don't look right. But anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera around. This is Pastor Gloria. Everything looks kind of blurry, and I'll tell you why here in a few minutes as soon as I turn the camera around. Hang on just a second. Welcome, I welcome all of you to my scope. There I am now, now it seems to be okay, okay. I welcome all of you, and there's something I wanted to want to say. Hello, uh, Brother Jordan Tulsi and Melissa. I'm glad you joined. Okay. <clears throat> I was going to do a Facebook Live video, and every time I would go to the thing to do it, the thing, I welcome all of you, all of you. God bless you. I love you all. <clears throat> but every time I would go to, to the thing to do it, it would take me back to um, the, the menu thing. Facebook must have changed because I used to do uh, Facebook live videos. Um, I welcome you. It's another attack from the devil. I can't talk real loud out here because I don't want to get kicked out of the mall. <clears throat> there's a very dear sister. This is very important. Um, there's a very dear sister. Her name is uh, Judith Levi, Judith Carlone Levi is her name and she has been severely attacked by the works of darkness the latest thing is she had a hot cup of coffee spilt on her it doesn't matter how it happened she's had many 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 attacks I wrote a big long uh, thing to her earlier and I almost cried I said don't I said this this is another way to, of testing our faith and we know that we're doing something right stepping on the devil's toes and it makes him angry all of us that are in the body of Christ we will have attacks this poor sister has been through a lot she's been through a lot some of us may think you know that we're going through a lot of stuff but there's always somebody that has far more more things going against them going against them amen amen as you can tell I'm a little bit frustrated and but it's I know it's the devil so let's come against, let's come in agreement, put a one on there for agreement to pray. We want to pray for Sister Judy, okay? I don't know if any of you know who she is. I don't know, but she, she won. Okay, in agreement. Okay, Father, Father God, we come before your throne right now, Lord. We come before your throne to put a mighty touch on our dear sister, Judy Carlone Levi, you know, Lord, that she's been mightily attacked. She has been terribly attacked. And we know that we rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke you off of that woman, that dear woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I told Judy to open up that door, to open up her door, and kick the devil out, to kick him out, to kick Satan out. He has no authority on her. He has no authority on any of us, none of us. So in your precious holy name, Lord, we give you all the honor and the glory and the praise in your precious holy name. Your, and your word says, what shall be bound on heaven, in heaven shall be bound on earth, and what shall be loosed in heaven shall be loosed on earth. So we bind all evil forces, all evil forces of darkness, off of this sister, Judy Carlone Levi, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. We said, go, Satan, go in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen, amen and amen. I'm going to read Psalms 91. He's coming, he's coming against a lot of us. He's coming against a lot of us. People go by and they laugh at me. I don't care because we will be persecuted. We will be persecuted, mocked laughed at, scorned. Yes, we will. Like I said earlier, it, it makes me almost want to cry.
Because see, we, uh, our faith is put to, through a te through a mighty tests, to see how strong our faith is, to see how strong our faith is in Jesus, in the Lord. And sometimes we get down so weak, we can't, we feel like, yeah, we feel like we can't, how, how can we fight? How can we fight? We're, 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 we are, are attacked in our dreams. All different ways that the devil tries to attack us. All different ways. And I can usually, when, I can usually tell when there's evil around. I can usually tell it. My discernment is getting more sharper, more, more sharper. Then we can't do anything else than just pray. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I'm going to read Psalm, Psalm 91. My, 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 my. But you know what, though, and I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. We know that we've done something right when the devil attacks even more. We know that we've done something right, and he will attack. He will attack. Now I can't find Psalms. I'll find it. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, I found it. Came right to it. All right, I'm so glad God put you in my path. Oh, well, thank, I am, I am, I am you too. Like I said, I've said this before, we all minister in different ways. We all minister in different ways. You know, but the thing of it is, we are all working to towards the same goal, is to win people to the Lord, to win people to Jesus. I did two, um, 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 oh, what's it called? Extension Day, uh, World Vision, World Vision Extension Days, out here at the mall. Well, I was informed that I can't do that anymore because of this is a business district. So, but anyway, I think I told you that before. Let's read 91, Psalms 91. Psalms 91, I love you guys. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I love each and every one of you. To the replay viewers, I love one and all, every one of you. All right, Psalms 91. This, this is for our dear sister Judy and for actually for all of us. For all of us who are trying to get the word out about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in these last days before he comes. And I believe it's close. It's very, very close. All right. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Praise the Lord, it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. See the reward of the wicked. And all the evil comments that this lady has received, a lot of nasty, nasty comments. Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead Psalms 91 again over Sister Judy, Carlo, and Eli Levi, and for all of us in the body of Christ. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou, lest thou, thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalms 23. Psalms 23. Psalms 23. Psalms 23.
praise God, hallelujah. Psalms 23. Okay, Psalms 23. Hello. Okay, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Looks like I've just got you on there, Melissa. <laughs> my. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Michelle. F. Michelle. I don't know why I said Melissa. The lady that works down at uh, Cla uh, Claire's, she just walked past, and her name is Melissa. <laughs> Michelle. Okay. Um, okay. Try to do a try to do a two and one here that's all right I'm gonna do it try to do a two and one see I'm just an absolute she did a, a four minute I think a little over a four minute video she was parked in the behind C, uh, CVS pharmacy where she lives and she didn't even show her face she her coffee had got spilt all over her chest area and she said it was hot scalding coffee Hot scalding coffee. All right, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read. Uh, my Jesus always. Jesus always. Okay. Bless her heart. Yes, yes. She's almost to the point of giving up, and she cannot give up. She has her own ministry, and I tried to find her on Facebook. Jessa, 1984, joined. Well, hello, Jessa. Praise God, honey. I'm glad you joined. But I tried to find her uh, on Facebook, and I'm not that. That's why the devil's fighting. Yes. Yes. She has her own ministry. She has a Facebook ministry. And I don't know what else she, she has. I, I've, I've been following her now probably about. God bless you, honey, Jessa. I'll look for her, too. Okay. I've been following her now probably. Oh, six, seven months, maybe. And she's a true woman of God. She's a true woman of God. And she has had her share of bad things. She's had her fair share of bad things. So, um, all right. This is St. Patrick's Day. For all of you who celebrate St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patty's Day. And I do have a little bit of green in my in my little heart necklace. I got a little bit of green in that one. <laughs> Right there at the bottom, I got a little, little bit of green. And I am Irish, you know, so, but anyway, I get kind of off, you know. All right, March 17th, let's read, let's read this one. Nothing in all creation can separate you from my love. Pause and ponder what an astonishing promise this is. You live in a world where separations abound. Wives from husbands, children from parents, friends from friends, childhood dreams from adult realities, there is one terrible separation you will never have to face. Isolation from love, my loving presence. Oh, that's a, that's a wow one. But there is one terrible separation you will never have to face. Isolation from my loving presence. From my loving presence. Praise God. I want you to cling to me with tenacious confidence. Yes, amen. This gives you strength to cope with uncertainties of living in such a broken, unstable world. Amen. Hallelujah. Anxious thoughts can assault your mind and fill you with fear if you forget if you forget that my love will never fail you. Amen. This is a good one. They usually are. My, wow. When you find yourself feeling afraid, grasp 
my hand in childlike trust. Rest in the protection of my presence. And remember that perfect love drives out fear, casteth out fear. Perfect love casteth out fear. Amen. Hallelujah. The greatest wealth on earth is men, 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 I don't know why they put fancy words in here that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Uh, rest in the protection of wait a minute a lot of noise out here at the mall the greatest wealth on earth is minuscule compared with the riches of my boundless love my boundless love yet this is my free gift to all who follow me how priceless is my unfailing love and the louder they are the louder I'm going to talk praise God hallelujah how priceless is my unfailing love this is 830 Romans 8, 38 and 39. Amazing love, yes. His amazing love, Jessa. It's amazing love. This is in reference to Romans 8, 38 and verse 39. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39. Isaiah 30, 15. 1 John 4, 18. And Psalm 36, 7. That's the, the verses to this one. To this one. I won't have time to read them because we're going to have to go home here, here shortly. But All right, now I'm going to do this one here. <clears throat> Experiencing God day by day. Okay. Hello. All right. All right, here we go. God's measure for forgiveness. For if you forgive people, they're... In the name of Jesus. If you forgive people their wrongdoings, your Heavenly Father will forgive you as well. But if you don't forgive people, your Father will not forgive your, your wrongdoing. That's true. Matthew, that's in reference to Matthew 6, 14 and 15. Sherry joined. Well, hello, Sherry, dear. I love you, honey. Um, I'm asking everybody to pray for Sister Judy Carlone Levi. She has been under some major attacks. Some major attacks, Sherry. Some major, major attacks. <clears throat> she even got spilled. Some hot scalding coffee got poured on her, down her chest. And she, she has burns, really bad burns on her chest. So I'm asking everybody to pray. I was going to go on Facebook Live. The old devil stopped me from going on Facebook Live. So I decided to get on here and do this. Had everybody have everybody to pray for her. And she's about to give up. And I said, don't, told her not to, not to ever give up. This is a test. The Lord puts us through test to test our faith to test our faith. He will take us through the trials and everything. And the latter, I, the latter they are, the latter I'm going to talk. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. That didn't happen until I got on here. Isn't that right, you guys? It didn't happen until I got on here. See, the old devil is pretty foxy. Tricks. Lots of, he, he knows the, the tricks, the, in, the ins and the outs of how to distract, disrupt, and disrespect. I, I need to, to add destroy or try to destroy because he does, he seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes, it's a test, Jessa says. Yes, it is a test. <clears throat> so, anyway, I want everybody to watch the replay too. And, but I'm reading this right now. This is my, this is my devotional, um, God, experiencing God day by day. All right. Okay, I'm going to. Read this one now. Praise God, hallelujah, all the, no the noise left. God's measure for forgiveness. If you forgive people their wrongdoings, your heavenly Father will forgive you as well. But if you don't forgive people, your Father will not forgive your wrongdoing. Amen. This is in, Math this is in reference to Matthew 6, uh, verses 14 and 15. Perhaps you consider yourself a forgiving person, but you are now facing someone whom you cannot forgive. Whenever you struggle to forgive, you need to revisit what you were like, 
what you were like when God first forgave you. Hang on just a minute, people. Hello? Okay. Ephesians 2 indicates you were a, a foreigner and a child of wrath. Yet God forgave you most be, forgave your most grievous sin and rebellion against him. While you were still rejecting God, Christ died for you. That's Romans in reference to Romans 5 8. This being so, how can you refuse to forgive those who sin against you? Forgiveness is not a spiritual gift, a skill, or an inherited trait. Forgiveness is a is a choice. Jesus looked down on those who had ruthlessly and mockingly nailed him to a cross. Yes. Yet he cried out, Father, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. That's what I told uh, when I wrote to Judy earlier. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Amen. Hallelujah. Luke 23, 34. How then can we refuse to forgive those who have committed offenses against us? Exactly. Jesus said that the measure in which we are forgiving is the same standard God will use in forgiving us. Yes. God's ways are very different, different from ours. God's forgiveness is not based on standards. We determine, but on the standards he established in his word. God allows for no exception when it comes to forgiveness. Exactly. Because if we can't forgive, God can't forgive us. Exactly. As we truly understand God's gracious forgiveness in our lives, we will naturally want to express this same forgiveness to others. And that's in reference to Ephesians 4.32, Colossians 3.13. Before you ask God for his forgiveness, take a moment to examine the condition of your relationships. Yes. Yes. Would you want God to forgive you in the same way, the same way you are presently forgiving others? That's a good one. That's a good one. And I've said this before too, you know. We are to love one another, lift one another up. And sometimes it's hard. When you love someone so much, sometimes it's hard to get certain things across to, to people without hurting them or making them angry it, it's very hard that's when you have to let the Holy Spirit well let the Holy Spirit lead of course and all we can do is pray Michelle that's, Michelle said is very true we have to just keep the ones we love we have to keep them in prayer that's all we can do. And my battery was kind of low when I got on here. It was probably, I think it was like 51 or 52, I think, when I got on here. So I don't know how, how good it is. I can't, I don't have no way of telling. But anyway, I don't even know how long I've been on here. It's 20 after 7. Um, but yeah, people go by and they look at they look at my veil, you know, and they, they laugh. Let them laugh. Let them laugh. I know why I'm wearing it. It's, it's, it's to honor God. It's to glorify the Lord. It doesn't matter why I wear it. It doesn't matter if I have to wear it or not. I choose to wear it because I love my Lord and Savior. Because I love Jesus. I choose to wear it because of that simple reason. And if they want to laugh at me and make fun of me, they can do. They can go right ahead. I don't care. I don't care. So listen, people. Um, that's why, yes, yes, amen. But I want to get on here for a little bit. Like I said, I tried to go on Facebook to do a video, and it messed. I, did, I don't know what happened. They must have changed things on there. Because I was going to go live on Facebook and do one, and it it messed up. So um, just remember to keep Sister Judy in your prayers. And, and Melissa, um, Michelle, I hope that you find her on there. You can let her know that we all prayed and uh, for her on, on Periscope. And uh, we all love her dearly. You, 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 I think you'll like her if, if you if you find her. Watch her her uh, her uh, Facebook. I mean her YouTube videos. Yeah, her YouTube channel. Yeah, her, her YouTube channel. She's a very dear lady. Very very dear lady in Christ. So anyway, um, I'm going to do the Lord's prayer and I'm going to go ahead and sign it out because I need to get home pretty soon. And I'll be back on here after a while. When I get home and things get calm, I'll be back on here after a while. So, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said amen. And you know, none of us are perfect. I've said this hundreds of times, none of us are perfect. And there's a lot we don't understand and there's many mysteries. There's many mysteries, Michelle, many mysteries that we don't understand and we won't until we cross over. Hello, you guys. God didn't put everything. He didn't put everything in the Bible. Yeah. He didn't put everything in the Bible. Just do our, just do our best. Yes, just do our best. So anyway, um. Yeah, I'm I'm doing a, a periscope. I'm on my periscope right at, right at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. This is my this is my veil. It just shows that I love the Lord and people want to laugh at me and make fun of me they can go right ahead because I know why I'm doing it and that's yeah. all that matters yeah. that's all that matters the Lord yes Thank but anyway God. praise God hallelujah <laughs> okay so I'm going to get off of here now and yeah. so I'll be back on here after a while so in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost and remember eyes to the sky because we know not when our Lord will return we know not the day or the hour and we must be ready uh, Keep witnessing when we can. Do our best to witness. Okay, I love you all. Till later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.